Welcome back to Red Hawk Media. Today, we're continuing on with our selection tools process here. Uh, the first episode, we talked about the quick selection tool. And here we have the Statue of Liberty, and she's all quick selected. And now I want to get rid of the background. And um, people were noticing more and more as they use the quick selection tool that, yes, it does grab the edges, but it doesn't grab them perfectly. So here's a few things that you can do to kind of cheat your selection a little bit. And then it'll clean up, especially with this situation where we have um, Lady Liberty, she's against this bright blue background. If we leave any of the blue on any of the edges, it's going to be really obvious. So to avoid that, if we want to put her onto another background, uh, what we can do is we can go up to, I've got her selected already, by the way, and I'm going to go up to Selection, and I'm going to go to Modify. Now in here, I can expand and contract my selection. I can feather it. I can do a bunch of stuff with it here. But I've got her selected, and I want to make the selection just a little bit smaller, just by a pixel or two, to make sure that I don't have any of the blue around the edges here. So I'm just going to go Contract, and I'm going to say 2 pixels, and then I'm going to go OK. All right, and everything comes in a little bit. And now I'm looking at that. I'm like, well, I'm going to lose a little bit of the spikes. Maybe one pixel is the better idea here. So I'm going to go expand. It can work in the other way. And I'm going to go just one pixel and go OK. All right, now that's looking pretty good. If I, if I were to zoom in here, uh, you can see that at this line here, I'm not going to take any of the blue with me whatsoever, which is kind of nice. Okay, So let's go ahead and uh, unlock our background click OK and then we're going to inverse our selection so select and inverse right? and now at this point I'm going to go ahead and delete my selection Okay, and now I've got transparency going on and I've got no blue Okay, no blue halo that's around the outside no outline nothing like that that's uh, lingering around here um, the only thing I would have to do because it was inside of the torch here I'd have to go in and clean up the blue manually here with the eraser like um, we had showed in the first episode okay that's the first strategy there's another thing that I want to talk about here because as I'm looking at the spikes I'm noticing that well they kind of look jagged they're not very clean lines it doesn't look very good um, let's talk about another strategy that we can use for those in the second strategy, we're looking at a different tool. Um, by default, over in your toolbar here, third one down, you've got the lasso tool. We're going to switch that up just by holding our button down on there. And then it's going to release, um, and then we'll see all of the other tools that are underneath there. So we got the lasso, the polygonal, and then the magnetic lasso, which we'll get to. Um, for now, let's look at the polygonal. With the polygonal lasso, I can come in here, and I can pinpoint my selection. So I'm going to start at the edge of the spike. And then I'm going to work around the edge. And every time I want it to connect to the edge, I'm clicking here. So I'm snapping really straight lines up and down the spikes here all the way around. And I'm moving pretty quickly here. I would want to zoom in and get a little bit more precise. But you'll see the difference just in how quickly I'm moving here versus the quick selection tool, which gave me a really jagged kind of appearance on the spikes. Okay, And uh, I'm going to go just part of the way up. Oh, if you ever run out of screen space, if you mouse up past where you're making your selection, it'll automatically scroll for you, which is kind of nice. All right, I'm going to stop there just to give you kind of a sampling of how this tool works. Now, with the polygonal lasso, you have to make a complete circle. You have to connect it back up with where you started. So if I'm cutting out just a piece of this, this is how I would go about doing that. I'm just connecting it all together. And then at the end, you can see I've got that little circle there on my polygonal lasso, and I connect it up. And now I've got my selection made. And with my selection made, I can go ahead and hit delete. And you can see I've got these nice clean lines all along in here. Now I would want to get a little bit closer just to get rid of some of the blue, but it's not jagged like it was before. It's nice clean lines. Um, much better, much better to work with. So now I can go ahead and deselect this part. And I can move on to some of the other parts and start working my way around here. This is a little bit more meticulous than the quick selection tool, but you can see you get a much cleaner cutout of objects like this that have very straight edges to it. Okay? So that's uh, yet another selection um, strategy. We'll be getting to more in the future episodes here where we'll cover the lasso and we'll cover the refine edge. So stay, uh, stay tuned here. And thanks for joining us again for another episode of Red Hawk Media. Bye.